our first concern should be about the glory of God. But am I being unfair, I wonder, when I suggest that one notices that that is scarcely ever mentioned. There is great concern about the church today, of course, but what's the concern about? The concern is about statistics and figures. People are talking about uh, churches being empty, and people are talking about means and methods of trying to fill them again and get the people in. They're interested in the figures and in membership, in finance and organization. How often do you hear your annual conferences and assemblies expressing a concern about the glory of God and the honor of the name of God? No, no, our attitude seems to be rather that the church is a human organization. And of course, we are concerned about what's happening to it as a man is concerned if his business isn't going well and if it isn't paying. We are businessmen and we are concerned about the institution and the organization. But Moses wasn't primarily. His first and chief concern was about the glory of God. Are you grieved at the state of the church? Well, why are you grieved at the state of the church? Is it because you're old enough to remember the end of the Victorian era, or the Edwardian period, when it was the custom for people to crowd into churches? Or is it just a sort of nostalgia for the great days of the church? Or do we know something of a concern for the name of God? Are we pained? Are we hurt? Are we grieved? Does it weigh heavily upon our hearts and minds and spirits when we see the godlessness that surrounds us and the name of God taken in vain? Do we know something for this zeal, this holy zeal, and we say, my heart is pained within me as I see the scoffing. Because God's name is involved. You notice the concern of the psalmist in Psalm 79. He says, wherefore should the heathen say, where is their God? That's what they're saying. They're laughing and they're saying, they talked about some great God who was the God above every other God. They said the God of Israel is the God. They gloried in him. They said he was wonderful. Where is he? Look at them. How can such people claim that they're in the hands of such a God? They'd never be in such a condition if that were really true. You see what is involved primarily is the glory and the honor and the name of God. It isn't our institutions, it isn't our success or failure that matters.